If you want to calculate the average salary of your employees, Microsoft Excel can help you with your calculation and save you time and effort. So join us as we explore various Excel functions to obtain the average salary. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video I'll be showing you 6 different ways to calculate average salary in Excel. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the employee salary dataset, which contains the employee names and their monthly salaries. Here we want to calculate the average salary of these 10 employees. Let's begin with the quickest way to calculate average using the average function. I'll go to the C16 cell, press equal, type the average function. For the number 1 argument, I'll select from C5 to C14 range. Close the parentheses and press enter. Here the average function calculates the arithmetic mean of all the monthly salaries which is 2580 US dollars. Sometimes we may have missing data which is usually written as not available or NA. One drawback of the average function is that it cannot handle text values and will return incorrect results. Luckily, Excel has a solution for this. Whenever we have text in our data, we can use the average A function instead of the average function. I'll go to the C16 cell, press equal, type the average A function. For the value 1 argument, I'll select from C5 to C14 range. Close the parentheses and press enter. The average A function discards the unavailable data and returns the correct monthly salary of the 9 employees which is 2280 US dollars. Now you may want to calculate the average of values that satisfy a particular condition. For this we can use the average if function. I'll go to the C16 cell, press equal, type the average if function. For the range argument, I'll select the employee column from B5 to B14 range. Insert a comma. For the criteria argument, I'll start double quotes, type look. Close the double quotes. Insert a comma. For the average range argument, I'll select the monthly salary column from C5 to C14 range. Close the parentheses and press enter. The average if function matches all the instances of the name Luke and calculates the average of the corresponding salaries which is 2625 US dollars. We can combine the sum and the counter functions to get the average salary. I'll go to the C16 cell, press equal. First, I'll type the sum function. For the number one argument, I'll select the monthly salary from C5 to C14 range. Close the parentheses, then insert a division operator. Next, I'll type the counter function. For the value 1 argument, I'll again select from C5 to C14 range. Close the parentheses and press enter. Here the sum function calculates the sum total of all the salaries in the C5 to C14 range. While the counter function counts the number of non-empty cells in the C5 to C14 range. Dividing the two results give us the average monthly salary. The subtotal function is one of the most versatile functions in Excel. It can perform various Excel operations depending on the argument. In the C16 cell, I'll insert equal, then I'll type subtotal. For the function num argument, we can see a number corresponding to a function. If we scroll down, we can see lots of other functions to choose from. Since I want to calculate the average, so I'll type 1, then I'll insert a comma, for the reference 1 argument, I'll select from C5 to C14 range, close the parentheses and press enter. We get an average salary of 2580 US dollar. 
Last but not least, we can obtain average of the top or the bottom values. Let's start by calculating the average of the top three salaries. In the C16 cell, I'll press equal, then I'll type the average function. For the number one argument, I'll start typing the large function. For the array argument of the large function, I'll select from C5 to C14 range, insert a comma. For the K argument, we want to calculate the top three salaries. So I'll start curly braces, then I'll type one, followed by a comma, insert two, followed by a comma, and lastly three. Close the curly braces, then close the parenthesis, and the final parenthesis, press enter. Here the large function returns three of the largest values from the C5 to C14 range, while the average function calculates their average. In a similar way, I'll calculate the average of the bottom three salaries. In the C16 cell, press equal, type the average function, then for the number one argument, I'll type the small function. For the array argument of the small function, I'll select from C5 to C14 range, insert a comma. For the K argument, we want to calculate the bottom three salaries. So I'll start curly brackets. I'll insert one, followed by a comma, then two, another comma, and lastly three. Close the curly bracket, close the parenthesis, then the final parenthesis, and press enter. Here, the small function returns three of the smallest values from the C5 to C14 range, and the average function calculates their average, which is 2,167 US dollars. In this demonstration, I have shown you six useful methods to calculate average salary. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement and convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!